Hey guys, what's up? It's Phil, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Super Mario 64 playing on the Nintendo Switch. In this video, I'm going to show you how to beat Big Boo's Haunt with all stars and the 100 coins power star, and we're getting started right now. Now, in the previous episode, we took care of Bowser, and we also got the Vanish Cap and a couple extra secret stars. And so in this particular uh, episode, we're going to be taking care of Big Boo over in Big Boo's Haunt. Now, let's jump over here into this level, and we're going to be taking care of six power stars with the seventh 100 coin power star as well. So the first star up is Go on a Ghost Hunt. Now, this, uh, this particular star is pretty easy. And so what they want you to do is go through uh, every single room and you're going to find a ghost and you're going to basically uh, destroy that ghost and then once you destroy enough of them you'll get a power star from it. So we're just going to dodge the books and the chairs and then eventually there'll be some ghosts that come out from, from that little wall right there, hopefully. There we go. All you gotta do is jump up and butt, butt stomp and there you go. Ghosts don't die. Can you get out of here alive? Probably. So I was thinking that there was another one. Let me just put on this vanish cap and see if there's one left. I hear him laughing. No? Oh, th yeah, there he is. So yeah, you can punch them, you can kick them, you can butt stomp them, whatever you gotta do to get rid of them. Totally up to you. So that was two. Let's keep moving. Yeah, I figured there was one in here. I like diving after these guys, I think it's a little bit more fun. I just like making Mario dive towards things anyway. Alright, so that was... Three, I think. There should be one over here. As long as I don't fall. Yeah, good. Good to go. Alright. Is he stuck? Boom. I guess the hitbox around that ghost was close enough to me where I could still grab, grab him. There should be one, yeah, right here. Boom. Got him. Alright, so it says the Master of the Terror... The Tower of Terror, the Big Boo. Alright, so the Big Boo, he is actually out in the... In the front here, back in the main lobby. There he is. I usually dive at him, but you can, like I said, you can butt stomp. and The hitbox for, the, for these guys are pretty massive, so... Yeah, there you go. Easy peasy! So this mid, yeah, I was gonna say the middle should raise up. There we go. There we go, guys. First star of of the map. That was pretty easy. What was it like? I don't know, 60 seconds or something. All right, guys, we're up to 37 power stars. Wow. Making great progress. Ride Big Boo's merry-go-round. Now this one, you can get to it a couple different ways. You can go into the house and fall down where I was trying not to fall down last time. I'll show you a little bit later. Or you can ride this elevator down. And if you get impatient, you can just jump off. And then we'll go over here and uh, there's actually a merry-go-round with some really creepy music. Totally don't recommend it. If you're going on a date... <laughs> Trying to impress your girlfriend. Definitely don't recommend this music. And we're kind of going to do, just basically do the same thing that we did just a second ago. They're going to try to sneak up on you and you're just going to butt stomp and collect their coins. There'll be some, some that come out and then the big boo will come out again and it'll be, it'll be a power star in no time. There he is right there. Yeah, no, no big deal, guys. I mean, the hitboxes on these things are just extraordinary. So, it's no big deal. All you gotta do is butt stomp and you'll hit them and grab the coins, grab the star, and we are done. Wow, that, I think that was, that was one of the faster stars, too. Ride Big Boo's merry-go-round. 
Not too bad. Oh, I thought I, I thought I was gonna miss it. I did. <laughs> I did a butt stomp and then jumped up again and went into the level. All right, secret of the haunted books. Now this one is super duper easy. Um, we're gonna go in here and I believe it's on the second level. There's a little library and I'm thinking it's over to the right. I can't remember exactly. Let's go and find out. I think it's right over here. Nope, that's not it. That's the coffins. So is it right here? No, it's not there either. There's another library. Oops, I didn't mean to go in there. There's another library and I'm trying to remember. Is it down here? No, it's not down here. I cannot remember where it's at. I'm trying to think. I guess we're just going to have to check until we find it. So that's not it. There it is. Okay, so here we're going to get hit with books and stuff. So if you do a long jump, you can usually miss them. There we go. And then I believe it is the middle, the right, and the left. Perfect. That was easy. And there's the star. Hey, there we go. Moving right along. This is going to be a quick episode, man. We're, we're like seven, seven minutes into it. We've already collected, I think, half of them. But the eight red coins will take us a little bit of time, so no worries. Oh, come on, I totally... I guess the hitboxes in the map are a little bit different than out here in the lobby area. Because I'm totally failing right now. Just punch the dude in the face. Punch that ghost in the lip. Alright, so seek the eight red coins. You guys know the drill. But getting eight red coins in this level is really easy. Or getting the hundred coins is really easy. Uh, there's a lot of coins outside that we're going to grab first. And then we're going to run inside and there's some, some spots that are loaded down with uh, blue coins. And as you guys know, that gives us five coins total when you get a blue coin. Oh, here's one. Let's grab this crazy box over here. Make sure you aim properly <laughs> before you grab this thing. We're in a pretty good open area, but man, if you're in a spot where you're about to fall on a cliff, it can it can cause disaster. It calls you a one up. Okay, so the, I'm looking for yeah this this little box right here. There's a lot of uh, a lot of coins in this box right here. I wanted to get. And since we have the Vanish Cap, there's another spot where we can get some more stuff. Yeah, so we're up to 30 coins, 31 coins. No, 30 coins. So I think that's it for now. So let's run back inside. And we're going to start collecting the eight red coins. And we'll, like I said, we'll also collect some other blue coins. Now, here's... I always get bit by this stupid piano. <laughs> piano with the teeth, come on. Alright, so there's two red coins in here, so we'll just do a kick flip or a, a, a cartwheel flip there. Maybe a back flip for that one. And I can actually get... If you actually hit some of these books that are flying around, you'll get five coins from them, and then, of course, these two ghosts will give you blue coins. So we're almost at 50% or 50, uh, well, yeah, 50% there almost. So let's keep looking. All right, so here is a blue coin. And also, I believe that these eyeballs will give you a blue coin as well. So all you have to do to defeat these guys is that you just got to let them lock onto you. And then you run one, one time, do like a just a 360 around them, and they're done. They're toast. All right, so moving right along, guys. Oh, I hate this part. I always fall down. Ooh, good. So I'll collect this from that dude. So we're up to 61. We're doing we're doing pretty good. 
That should be a, yep, a red coin here. And then I'm going to see if I can get this guy to follow me over here so I don't lose his coin. Because if I, he, he might, it might drop down in the, in the pit. Which, by the way, that's, that's what I was talking about before is down below is the, the carnival ride thing that I was talking about that has the creepy music. Oh, no! No way, dude. What did I hit my head on? Come on. All right. Let's go back up. Man, we were making good time until that happened. It's all good, though. We're having fun. We're having fun. So we're going to ride this elevator up. And, and as a matter of fact, I can grab um, five coins from this eyeball that's going to be at the top of this elevator. So that's that's cool. So like I said, yeah, let, oh, let them lock onto you and then do a 360 and they are done. Boom. All right, so we're up to 68. So I have... How many red coins do I have now? Let's see. Four. Okay. So let me go back in here. You know what? Not there. Let's try over here. And yeah. So let's see if I can grab these coins. There we go. I must have hit my head on the little windowsill. I didn't know that there was a, a hitbox there that I could actually hit, but apparently so. Okay, so I'm just going to start over here on the left. And we're going to jump. Nope, we're not going to do anything there. It's been so long, I can't remember exactly what... Where these um, doors lead to. So, let's go right here. Yep, there's one. There's number five. This level is super fun, by the way. Alright, so once he locks onto you, do a 360 and he's done for. Boom. There we go. He's not so scary. Okay, so there should be a couple red coins, one or two at least, in here. I can't remember. There it is. Oh, there, there we go. Just don't get hit. Oh. Let's see if I can. Whoa. There we go. Number seven. Alright, so we got one more and I know where it's at. Should be right in this door. We go around the corner and it should be sitting right there. Oh, here's here's some coins. Yeah. I got at least five from them. You just gotta jump into them. Okay, so remember we can't go and get this star yet. We have to wait until we collect nine more. And I've got the perfect plan for that. So let's see, I think we can there's a couple different ways that we can do this, but this is how I do it. Yep, so we just need to get up on this ledge, and uh, you can do a cartwheel kick into the wall, you can jump like that. Boom, there we go. So here's the 100 coin power star. And if you remember, uh, I said before in the previous episodes, that doesn't actually kick you out of the level like it does, like all the other stars do, so we have the ability to get two stars in one run. And then I believe the other uh, star should be over here on the lobby. Yeah, there it is. Boom. Not too bad. I mean, it took like maybe five minutes total to do uh, that particular run. Cool, cool, cool. Let's keep going. We've got a few more to do. What do we got? We were on, that was the third or fourth one. I can't remember. Big Boo's Balcony. Okay, so we're on the fifth. So we got two more total. Alright, so Big Boo's Balcony is basically um, up there. So we'll go and destroy Big Boo, and then we're going to get one of the stars that's probably the hardest to get ever. And it's not because Big Boo is a difficult boss. <laughs> it's because of where they put the star. Um, I'm trying to remember how to get there. Is it this one? Yeah. Go back to where we were before. Where we did the, uh, the crazy jump. Oh, I totally missed that, so... Ah. 
Boom, got it. All right, so we're gonna run through here and we're gonna grab, I'm actually not gonna grab anything. We're gonna go to this door and we're going to butt stomp a bunch of times. Ready? One, turn around, two, boom, and three. Oh, we're looking at him. There we go. So they put the star right there and it's like the worst spot ever. So I'm gonna have to concentrate super hard on this one. Okay, we at least made it this far. <laughs> So here's what we gotta do. Oh my gosh, this camera is so bad. So we've gotta actually walk up here. Oh, we made it. Thank goodness. Now, I'll see if I can get my camera to cooperate so we can kind of walk slowly. And when we get. Yeah, we're there. Oh, we got this. We got this sweet so that's how you do it guys otherwise you're gonna fall down the you're gonna hit the roof and slide down you're gonna have to climb back up it becomes a real pain but luckily we were able to get through that the first time around okay this is the last one and basically it involves the vanish cap which is why we had to get it in the last episode and it involves um, going to pretty much the same spot that we were just at so we're going to run through these double doors. We're going to jump up the stairs, take a right. We're going to do our famous jump again. And I missed. Oh, I totally missed that one. No, I got it. Cool. Oh, wait. What am I thinking? Can't do that. It's not that easy. Are you kidding? So what we've actually got to do is come over here and get the vanish cap from right here on the balcony in the lobby area and run back over there, jump up, oh, and you, you can't do it like that. You kind of got to be flawless with it. Go, go, go. Time's ticking, time's ticking. Long jump. Oh, barely made it. Holy cow. All right, so we get this dude to lock onto us, and we run around this eyeball after he locks onto us, though. Get out of the way. All right, once he blinks, you know that he's locked on. Then it's a 360, and he's done for. And there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is the last power star of Big Boo's Haunt. Boom. Peace out. So, let's take a look at what we've got here. Yeah, Big Boo's Haunt is done. We've got uh, seven stars there. We've got eight secret stars. Wow. All right, so we've pretty much... We're rocking this, guys. We are blasting through this game like it's nothing. All right, guys. Well, that'll do it for this uh, episode. So, the next thing that we're going to do in the next episode, right after this one, is we're going to head downstairs, down here... And we're going to start knocking out some of these levels that are down here. So we've got a couple options. We can take a left and go over there. Um, I believe that's a water level with Bowser. Bowser's in there too. Uh, we can go over here to the lava level. We can go this way to the quicksand level. And we can also go over here to the... Uh, to the, uh, I'm trying to think of the name, it's the, it's the cave, it's the cave with the gas in it, I can't remember the name, um, but anyways, I'm not sure which one we're going to do yet, but if you will stay tuned for the next episode, we'll find out together, guys, thank you so much for watching, I'm so glad that you enjoyed this content, and hanging out with me as we play through Super Mario 64 on the Nintendo Switch.